All right, everyone, for our warm up today, we're going to go ahead and practice a little bit with graphite or pencil, and then also experiment a little bit with charcoal. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the pencil first, and then I'll probably do a second video on the charcoal. But you should have your warm up paper set up like this. So we're going to use always back and front. So we're going to start on the left hand column first for all of our pencil techniques. Okay, I'm going to skip over the circles for now. We're going to come back to those a little bit later on. But we are going to work in these left hand sections right here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is just take a regular wooden number two pencil. Okay, and what I'm going to do is blend it out to the white of the paper. Okay, so hard pressure on this side, medium pressure towards the middle, and then lighter pressure here, letting off to the white of the paper. Okay, now I'm going to hold my pencil back a little bit further, and I'm going to use my pencil. Um, pencil graphite sort of more on the side rather than straight up and down like you ordinarily would write with it. It's going to create a smudgier line overall and um, it's better, I think it's better for shading and blending. Okay, so I am going to, on the left hand side, okay, see how I'm holding my pencil back a little bit further, kind of angling it horizontally. I'm going to press really hard on the left hand side, overlapping my strokes. And then as I go across the box, I'm going to gradually let up to medium pressure. Let up to lighter medium pressure. Lighter pressure. And off to the white of the paper. Okay, like so. All right. So I'm going to, it's basically a, a base fade, right? We've been doing that in other media like oil pastel. Okay, so I blended this out to the white of the paper. I'm gonna come back to that in just a couple moments. All right, from there, I am going to locate with my graphite um, two, other, two other types. So I can either have a, I would say either a three or four B. Okay, so graphite uh, has numbers and letters associated with it. So for your second box, you can either use a three or a four B. For the last box, you're going to use a five or a six B. Okay. Now, what this what this means is the B stands for the softer graphite, and the higher the number, the softer the graphite, and the softer the graphite, the darker the line. Okay. So higher the number, softer the graphite, darker the line. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Okay. So this is a regular number two or two B HB pencil. This will be my three or my four, and then this last one will be my five or my six, okay? Hopefully by the end, you'll be able to see the difference between this box, okay, of light to dark, or dark to light, light to dark, and then this box, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with the 3B pencil. So holding it back, and again, you can also use a 4B for this box, that's fine. So hard pressure, as I go across the box, letting up to medium hard pressure, letting up to medium pressure, letting up to lighter pressure, letting up to lightest pressure, and then off, okay? So I have something that looks like that, okay? So this is my 3B pencil. Again, you can use a four for that, okay? Now my last box, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, and this is with either the five or the six B. So I'm pressing hard, holding my pencil at an angle, overlapping my strokes. So hard pressure, hard and medium pressure. Lighter medium pressure. Lighter medium pressure, lighter pressure. Lightest pressure, ah, and then off. Okay, so I have something that looks like this. So let me zoom you all out. Here we go. Okay, so this is what I have in terms of my graphite. Okay, so I have a two, like a 2B pencil here. I have 
a 3B, so there's not much of a difference here, but then from 3 to 6B, wow, you can definitely see the difference in terms of the darkness, right? That fiber, that 6B is a lot darker, okay, because the graphite is softer compared to the other ones, okay? Now, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a blending stump or a tortillion, okay? So they look like this. I'm going to take a moment and just grab a piece of clean off paper like so, and I'm going to take a moment and again, use it at an angle and I'm going to clean it off. Okay. So right now somebody before me has used it. So I just want to make sure that it's not leaving graphite powder completely everywhere when I go to use it. It's never going to be completely clean. That's okay. But see how these marks are a lot lighter than the marks I made originally. So that's cleaned off. Okay. This is what it looks like. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the blending stump lightest to darkest. I'm going to use it on its side here and think of this as an extension of your finger. What's nice about the blending stump versus your finger is let's say you're trying to set graphite powder or charcoal in a really small area. That's where this tip comes in. Okay. It can allow you to get into small areas and spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this more on its side. Blend it lightest to darkest, and you'll see that it creates a smudgier line. Okay, so it creates more of an even tone. It almost gets rid of your individual pencil marks. Now, at this point in time, before I do the next one, I gotta clean it off. Okay, if I don't, all of this graphite will get on to the lighter area of my next box. Okay, and again, you can never get these exactly clean, but I'm just looking for it to leak a little bit less of that graphite. So, yep, this is better now. Okay, do this next one, setting the powder, using this on its side, because this is a larger area, I'll use it on its side. Lightest to darkest. Okay, if I go darkest to lightest with this, I'm just gonna make my light area darker, okay? Cleaning this off. All right, and then last one, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, lightest and darkest. Okay, and I'm cleaning off. Okay, so again, that tortillion, that blending stump is just gonna help you set that graphite powder, graphite powder, charcoal powder, chalk pastel powder. And it, think of it just as an extension of your finger. Never jam it into the surface like that because we want to keep that tip nice in case we need to blend something small, okay? So really quickly, let's say, um, once you're done with these three, let's say you're like, ah, you know, this doesn't go gradually from dark to light, okay? This, this light area actually looks kind of dark. One thing you can do is you can take your eraser and just use it sort of on its side lightest to darkest right in here, just keeping your strokes gentle. And what you can do is blend it out with a blending stump again, okay, lightest to darkest. So once you've removed some of that powder using your eraser, you can come back in and blend that lightest to darkest with your blending stump and it lightens that area up, okay? So here I have three different graphites. I have like a 2B pencil, a 3B, not a whole lot different between those two, and then a 3B to a 6B. Remember, the higher the number for our B pencils, the darker the graphite because it's very soft, okay? So it's going to give you a darker, um, darker value for your blend.